Oh, hi guys, you're alright, don't mind me. Um, I came out the closet 10 years ago. I don't know why I just came out the closet now, but you know what? Yeah. Oh, guys, I've got this fat spot on my head and it really, really hurts my head. Um, what's happening to me? Seriously? Hello, guys, how are you doing? You just saw me come out of the closet. Yes, I'm gay. Here we go. I've said it out and proud. <laughs> I'm joking guys, so basically what has happened is um, I came out 10 years ago to my family and yeah, I'm just going to talk to you and sh share a bit of my story, what happened. I know I've got a video on YouTube, I posted it years ago, but I just wanted to update you guys and just tell you what has happened and a bit about my coming out story and how it is now. <sighs> People are going to tell me I've been drinking coke, but you know what, I'm really thirsty. Okay. Let's crack on and talk. So, where do I begin? Okay, so 10 years ago, I came out to my mum and dad as gay, and they are Muslim, and they're Turkish, and you know how that went down. Not great. So, um, to cut the story short, what happened was, I was in college, and it was my... My inside's making noise, what the heck just happened? So basically, I was in college and um, I've never dated a guy before and never done anything with a guy, but I knew I was attracted to men. Back then I was young, I was still, hasn't, I still haven't accepted myself, so I thought, you know what, I'm ready now. Oh. Why is my phone coming on now? Okay, let's start again. So, I was in college, I was doing performing arts, and in my college there was a lot of gay guys and they were so open and like open their sexualities. I was like, wow, I looked up to them. And I started to realise, you know what, I am attracted to men and I've never done anything with a guy before, so I wasn't 100% sure till something happened in college and yeah, stuff happened with some guy and I was just like, wow, I am gay, I really like this. And in the meantime, when I realised, okay, I'm gay, I need to tell my parents now, it was a shock to me, I was so scared because one, they're Turkish, two, they're Muslim, and I knew it was going to be no, no, they, could just, they, they were going to disown me, I knew straight away. But I thought, you know what, let me just log it out for a while, not say anything, and then a few months went down the line, I started to date someone, and we were getting serious, and it's gotten to like half a year of being together, and I thought, you know what, I need to tell someone, so I told my best friend, and I was like, look, I'm gay, this is my partner, my friend was accepting, but they're like, have you told your mum? How are you going to tell your dad? Because your dad is so religious, like, he literally runs a mosque and so on, so he looks after a mosque. It's going to be very hard for you. In my head, I just put, pushed that aside, I was like, he's not going to find out, I don't want him to find out. If he finds out, I was like, is he going to kill me? Oh my God, like, what's going to happen? So on. So, um... I was still living with my mum back then, and my mum was realising that, you know what, he's not bringing any girlfriends around, like, all of his friends his age has girlfriends and so on. So one day she literally locked the door, because I was going to go out, because you lock it from inside and you can't get out. shut. So I talked to her, I was like, Sally, listen to me, I was like, what mum? And back then I was getting a lot of anger issues, because I was trying to accept myself, and, and I was scared, and I was like, oh, I don't know if my mum's going to not no one's going to let me know, no one's going to know, no one's going to know, no one's going to accept me, no one's going to accept me, no one's going to accept me. So back then I was just like young and I had a bit of anger issues because I was keeping it in so much and I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? Like I'm discovering myself but I know my parents are not going to accept it, are they going to kick me out? So one day I was at home and my mum was like, Sal, I was like, yeah, should I talk to you? I was like, I need to go, I need to go. I just had a feeling she was going to ask me something, she locked the door so I couldn't leave. She's like, Sal, I need to ask her, Miss Sally. I was like, what, mum? She was like, are you normal? And I was like, what do you mean, am I normal? I was like, I am normal, mum. And then I left it like that, and I just felt a bit anxious, and I was like, oh, God, I think she's got a feeling. And then um, a few weeks went down the line, I was, said to my friend, I was like, look, I need to tell my mum. I need to tell someone because it's eating me alive here. And I was driving one night home, and I thought, you know what, before I go home, let me just pull up. And then, at the same time, I was staying at my dad's here and then a few weeks. Mom and dad were divorced, and still are. Um, so I texted my mom, and I was just like, 
I don't know what I actually wrote, guys, it's been literally 10 years, but I literally stated words like, hey, mom, how are you? Um, I really need to talk to you. I, I was crying when I was writing this. It was just so hard for me. I sat there and I was like, mom, I love you. I I hope you love me back. I, I just want to say something. I know the other day you asked me if I'm normal. I am normal and I know what you meant. And a lot of my family were homophobic and they would see someone gay and be like, oh, he's gay. And a lot of my friends were like that and I got scared. And I thought, you know what, I need to say it. I need to say it. I said, Mom, help you well, I love you. Um, let me tell you something. I am gay and this is me. I just hope you accept it. I thought I was going to get a great response from her. And um, she texted me saying, Sal, this is a phase, you can change. And I just started crying so much. And then I thought, you know what? I don't know what to do, so I drove to her house and I literally knocked on the door crying and I was like, Mom, please open the door. She didn't want to open the door and then she opened the door. I went in and I sat there and I just cried on her lap and I was like, Ugh. I was literally in tears because so scared. I thought, oh no, Mom's going to kick me out any second. She's going to disown me. And the first couple of days she was, she didn't say anything to me. And then she was like, you need to go stay with dad's now. I think she had to take that time to process it herself and it was quite hard. And then um, I just said, please, please, please don't tell my grandma. Like, I love her to bits. I will see her every day. Like, I used to go stay at her house on the weekend as well. And then I think my mum couldn't keep it in herself. She told my grandma. And then my uncle found out. My granddad found out. Rest in, rest in peace. He died last year. And then he was like, you can't come around anymore. How dare you? It's disgusting. My whole family turned against me, my mum's side. Apart from my auntie and my auntie... I love her to bits, but she lived in Cyprus, so we can only just communicate. She's like, there's so much I can say, so your mom's not going to listen. So my mom's like, you need to go stay at dad's. And I was like, oh no, I need to stay at my dad's. What am I going to do if my dad finds out he runs a mosque? Oh, and my things are just going in my head, like, constantly. And then I just went there, and I literally started doing YouTube videos back then as well. And I started to do makeup tutorials. And my dad started to find out I do makeup. So I was like, oh, it's just just yeah just a little bit for men and all this stuff and back then not a lot of guys wear makeup so um he was like you want to be a woman now and i was like no 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 it's just to cover up spots and stuff and he didn't have an idea that i was gay because i had to put my front and always like acting like i'm like oh yeah she's good looking and all this stuff i had to pretend and then i thought you know what my mom my dad's gonna find out one day i opened up to my stepmom, I told my stepmom about it, she was quite accepting, but she was saying at first, oh I'm not quite sure, that you know this is against our religion, like you can't tell your dad, and then a few months went down the line and my, mom, my dad texted me saying, Sal, who is this person, literally, he literally wrote my ex's name and was like, oh, are you gay, and I was like, oh, and I literally, I just, I just literally shut my eyes and I was like crying, I was like, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do, so I called my stepmom, my stepmom was like, he's just gone angry, he's asking everyone, is he gay, is he gay? And he started saying, oh, he's, this college he went to perform on arts made him gay. And then my stepmom was like, just tell him. So I told him, I was like, yeah, I'm gay. I was like, how did you know? I was like, how did you know? Who told you? Someone saw you holding hands in North London shopping centre. Back then, it was so hard for people even to be gay and walk around on the street holding hands, especially in the area, area where it was just like full on ghetto. Um, so I didn't even do that. So I literally got outed by someone else, which someone heard and it just went around. And then the whole Turkish community found out and they literally were hating my dad. They're like, how can you, your son be gay and you're one of the most, you're Turkish and so on. My family got a lot of hate. Um, so I distanced myself from everyone. And yeah, there was times where I was like, I don't know what to do. He said to me, you need to come here now, get your clothes, leave my house. And then I got the police and I was like, I called the police and I was like, look, my dad's very religious. I don't know what's going to happen. And I heard horror stories where people dying and so So I just freaked out and I called the police and the police took me to my dad's, got my stuff. And then um, I went back to my ex's house. And then a few days, I literally was staying at friends and family's house. And then I literally fell asleep one day in my car and I was just very... I felt heartbroken that my family started to disown me. My dad kicked me out and no one wanted to talk to me. Yeah, so all that happened and then 
looking back now in 10 years time, my life has changed completely. I am the person I am and literally, I wanted to put myself first and I live my life how I wanted to live my life for the last 10 years and it's made me stronger. And I've, it has ups and downs with my family. My family did not all want to talk to me at once. And as years went on, a lot of family members started to talk to me and my family connection with my family is okay now. So they know I'm an influencer, they know I put makeup on and they come into terms with it. But my dad still to this day, he's still not happy about it. He has his moments where he would just argue with me over it and I just don't see him for a couple of weeks. My mum is actually coming to terms with it, which is good. It's been a very, very long time. There's been times where I would go to a house and back then I was dating someone and I was I, I was just sad one day and I said to her, yeah, my ex and we, put, we broke up and this and this and that and that. And then now I tell her, like the other day I had a conversation with her on the phone and I was like, yeah, I'm gay mum and it's, it's not gonna change. Like you don't need to accept me for who I am. Life is too short. And I feel like she actually, has realised that when my granddad passed away that life is too short and especially in this COVID pandemic people are dying you have one life and honestly guys what I can say to you guys is live your life how you want to live it because don't let no one stop you be true to yourself and I have and I've come a long way and I built a career out of just being myself and like accepting myself and not letting people try to change me and so on um, and also back then my dad took me to a doctor and was like, oh, can you please change him? And, I, and the doctor was like, yeah, I'll try, I'll try. I'm going to try curing him. And I was like, cool. We sat there talking and he was like, so why do you like men? Question him. I was like, I just like, it's like you like olives and someone doesn't like olives. It's like that. Like, if I'm attracted to the men, I'm attracted to men. He's like, okay, just tell your dad you like male company. Don't use the word gay. I left it like that. And a lot of, ha a lot of stuff has happened throughout the years. But to cut the whole story short, I am so happy that I've come out. It was the best thing I've done. Honestly, I've got to the place I am today. I'm strong. And yeah, my life is just is improving every single month, every single day. And there's a lot of years to come, hopefully. And yeah, my goal is to build that relationship with my family that I've missed out in the last couple of years. But it's getting there slowly and yeah, I've actually settled down myself now as well and I am in another relationship and I'm really happy which is great and I am keeping this really, really, really private um, and I feel like privacy is key sometimes and my whole life was on social media and there was just that bit of my life that was missing, just the privacy and I chose, you know what? Yes, yeah, so I'm keeping my relationship private now. Sorry guys, I had to change cameras over because my... Canon G7X has died. Yeah, as I was saying, my life has changed completely in the last 10 years. I've actually built a career, especially on social media. And um, yeah, that was the reason I started YouTube originally, just share my coming out story and using it as a diary. And I've managed to help a lot of people and I'm still here to help if anyone wants to talk, if anyone wants some advice. Yeah. And the little update for the last couple of months, which I'm going to do a full in-depth video, is I had to move in between COVID and it was so crazy. My landlord sold the house and to be honest, the people they sold it to, I think they were very homophobic and that's the reason they didn't want to keep me. So I had to move. He came and viewed the place and he just started to question me and was like, so um, what do you do? Eyebrow, mm. and he made a comment like, oh, men don't do that. So I thought, wait a minute, you're very backwards. So he bought the house and downstairs when I went to say bye to him, he said to me, do you want to stay here? And I said, yeah, I would love to. And he was like, um, okay, yeah, cool. We're not going to kick you out just of yet, but it is what it is. I knew straight away that I had to literally move out. I knew it from the, the tone of his voice and the way he was talking to me and it was just so backwards and I thought, you know what? This is one of them douchebags that literally think they're very different, like ignorant and backwards thinking people. So in a way I wouldn't want someone like that as my landlord, especially if they are homophobic because of the comments that he was doing and he was making, I just thought, you know what, oh, I just need to just, whatever happens, happens in it. So I moved into a new place and I've been working on the house a little bit, trying to make it more updated it was quite run down and last 
four months, I've just been working in the house and I've found a new hobby and a new skill. Yeah, I will do a little home tour as well. But this was just a video updating you guys about my life and my coming out journey and all that stuff because it was quite hard for me, but I stood strong and I know if you're going through something like this, remember, be strong. Don't let no one change you. You are who you are and you will get over this and don't feel alone. Even if your parents have disowned you or don't want to talk to you or family friends and family friends, you know there's people out there that will accept you and our community is massive and we're always here to support. My parents are Turkish. So it was so hard for me because I came out as a gay Muslim and especially a gay Turkish Muslim. It was really hard and I've overcome it guys. If I can do it, you can do it. And I just want you to feel that you are not alone. I want you to know we are always here to support each other. And look, things have gotten better throughout the years and it's been 10 years now. And yeah, my family have actually come to terms with a lot of things and it's getting better and yeah I still have hope every day it's getting better like the other day my uncle was like yeah come around with your partner I was like what that just made me so happy my life has changed completely looking back 10 years ago I used to think oh no now my parents found that I'm gay they kicked me out they've sold me my life is over. I was working in a part-time job studying as well. And I said to myself, you know what, sir? You do not want to do this job anymore. Go take out a loan. I was 18 then and I took out a loan and I went and did a brow course. And then I started posting like brow tutorial videos here on YouTube and Instagram. And then I got invited to go work at the place I trained at. And then throughout the years, my skills for brows have just improved and honestly, turned into one of my full-time jobs now. And um, I've always been interested in brows, but if it wasn't for myself 10 years ago, and I said to myself, you know what, Sal? This is your time to shine. You can do whatever you want. You can be who you want to be. Now I get to work with a lot of celebrities as well. I've, I've worked on many shows at X Factor. I've worked with many celebrities, Little Mix. I've worked with many celebrities, a lot of reality stars as well. So my name as the Brow King literally just went from one person to another person to another person and then now a lot of people trust me with their brows and that's turned into a career itself and also um, I can be myself on Instagram and talk about me being gay and helping others and also um, being into beauty and makeup I can freely put on makeup and I'm not going to get judged because nine years ago, eight years ago, seven years ago when I used to start putting makeup on Instagram people were like oh that's gay, that's gay, that's gay life is changing, people are changing and it's more accepting now and um, being on social media has actually helped me a lot with my confidence as well and also um, I've turned Instagram into a second career as well where I have a source of income from there. I'm just really really like proud of myself like if I could go back in 10 years I would say to myself you know what Sal your life is not over, it's just the beginning. Remember, like, look straight on and just continue what you're doing, be yourself and you'll be okay. And I'll just give myself a hug. And honestly, I just wanna say guys, um, I know it's been a tough year, tough year and a half with the whole COVID pandemic and a lot of people lost their jobs, work's been slow, especially for me as well. And my work's been really slow and it's just starting to pick up now and now is the time for everyone literally to work on themselves and be like you know what i know what i want to do be yourself don't let no one change you and good things will come your way but i'm back now and if there's any video ideas you want to see that you want to see me do please let me know down below in the comments and I am replying to people and also follow me on Instagram guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. One more thing, remember you are not alone, you are strong, you are who you are and things will get better, I promise you.